In this video, I will show you how to draw functions in GeoGebra and also how to restrict them to a specific domain and add arrow points. When we want to draw a graph of a function, you will use the input bar at the bottom and you can use this in different ways. The first option is to simply enter the equation for that specific function. So let's do a straight line and the equation is y is equal to 0.5x plus 2. So here we have the straight line and it is called graph f. We can now once again change the appearance at properties. So when we open the properties you can choose to remove the label or you can even choose to give this graph a different name and then once again you can choose to the color and the style so you can make it a bit thicker if you want to and here we have a straight line that continues forever and ever so you can zoom out and see that this line continues when we want to draw this in a test we of course want to add some arrow points so to do that we can do a second option at the input so i'm going to start typing function and then you will see a list of options appear. We want to draw this graph only for a specific domain. So I'm going to choose the middle option. And then it tells you exactly what you need to type. So firstly, you need to enter the function. So let's try a parabola. So x and then to the power of 2 will be shift and 6. 2 and let's do minus 4. So our equation x squared minus 4. And my starting value, I'm going to make minus 3 and then end at an x value of 3. So here we now have a parabola that is only drawn from minus 3 to 3. So you can see there that it ends. So here we can now add arrow points. And this is unfortunately where GeoGebra is not ideal yet. It is quite difficult to add neat arrow points. So to do that, you will have to add vectors. That's the only option at the moment. So we choose to add a vector because it has an arrow point at the end. So I'm going to add a vector on the left uh, from there to there. And then I'm going to repeat that on the right. And these two vectors now have coordinates and names. And I'm going to change all of that. So I'm going to choose my moving or selecting icon. And now I'm going to select my two vectors and go to their properties. Firstly, I'm going to change the color so that it is the same. It looks like orange, no? Uh, then the rest of the parabola. And let's make all of it a proper thickness and opacity. And then I want to remove the label of these vectors. Next, I'm going to select my parabola and just also make it the same thickness and opacity. And lastly, I'm going to get rid of those extra coordinates. So I'm going to click on the four coordinates where the vector was formed. And there we have a parabola. So here we can see that we now have a straight line that continues forever. And we have a parabola that is only drawn for the domain of minus 3 to 3.